Hi there. Good morning. It is about 11.40. I have checked out of my room there where I was for the past uh, three nights here on the lovely Turkish island of Bojada. And I think that I am going to take a ferry now. There is one that should be leaving at 12 noon back to the mainland. So, I don't know what's happening yet today. I was seriously considering staying longer on the island. The issue is that uh, yesterday was the Turkish Victory Day. It is a public holiday and also it coincided with the last uh, weekend of August, so today is Saturday, August 31st. And so as a result of that, which I didn't realize at the time when I made the booking a couple of weeks ago, this is why my hotel room was so overpriced, $157, which is really expensive for Turkey. So there you go, that is the uh, boat that I want to be on. As I showed, my previous rooms in Turkey were 30 something dollars and then 157 bucks here. I thought it was just because this is a popular trendy island and certainly that is a factor, but it was also because of the Victory Day situation. And so in looking for other accommodation for tonight, it is the same situation. It is all super expensive and there's very little available at all. I'm sure that tomorrow things will change for the rest of next week and really for the rest of the season because this is like the end of peak season. But for now then, I'm just not uh, willing to pay what I would have to pay to stay for another day or two. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and head for that ferry. I don't have a ticket yet. You just buy them right there. This should uh, work fine. If they are sold out or whatever, then there will be another one in an hour. You can see a lot of these people are getting off the ferry. So uh, then the question is, where am I going today? And I think that I won't get into trying to explain that yet, the various options. Let's just uh, get back on the ferry boat and uh, take things one step at a time. I guess this is kind of uh, depicting a local island lady or something? Alright, so... There's a big long line over there. I'm hoping that isn't a line for people wanting to get on the ferry. I don't think it could be. But why then is there no line here? Okay, let's see what happens. There's nobody there. What the heck is going on if you want to get on this boat? Here's a person at least. Merhaba. The ferry? Yes. Please. Tickets? Free. Oh, it's free today. So I just walk. Yes. Thank you. Cool. It was a hundred lira when I came this way. That's three dollars US. But for some reason it's free today. Maybe it's always free going this way or something, or it's a victory day thing. Anyway, here we go. Goodbye, Bojada. Amazing, amazing island. This is not the end of my Aegean island experience, not at all. It is just the very beginning. Yeah. 
30 minute ferry ride over to the Turkish mainland up there. All right, back on the mainland where I was three days ago. We have some buses here, so I need to try to figure out if they might be going to where I need to get to. Okay, we have a sign, so not this one. This is the same bus that I took to come down here from Chanakale. And let's see. Again, Chanakale. Avalik, Avalik. Yes. Yes, Lesbos. Ezine. Avalik. And boat. Yes. yes. Amazing. Okay.
So I made it to Avalik. It looks like a uh, rather desolate spot. However, the sea is right over that hill, a 10 minute drive to a ferry port with boats going to Lesbos, Greek island. There were various other options for what I could have done along the way, made some stops, etc. But I've decided to just go with the most straightforward, simplest plan. This was the plan all along, was to get over to Greek Island. But uh, because of the uh, Victory Day situation with the high prices, hotels around here were all really expensive. And uh, so I've decided to just uh, probably get to Lesbos today, unless I maybe stay a night uh, in that town over there on the uh, sea, if it's nice. But uh, let's get there, grab a taxi, get there, see what it's like, see what the options are, including how often uh, the ferries go, which I think will be pretty regularly. Alright, so things are happening. So, this is where ferries go to Lesbos Island, Greece. Right here. Taxi dropped me off here. 180 Turkish lira, about $5. And then the taxi driver pointed at uh, these offices here and said I could get a ticket. So, first I went into uh, this one, Jalem Tour, and they said there wasn't a boat until tomorrow at 9 in the morning and 2.30. And then I asked if there were other boat companies and she said, well, maybe next door. And so I went to that one, Turiel, and sure enough, they have a boat going at 6 o'clock. It is... What is it? It's for something at the moment. 4.26. And... I am going through customs, of course. This is going to be a border crossing entering into the Schengen area. Again. I was last there a few weeks ago when I arrived in Croatia for just two days and then went to Montenegro. As I explained, I was saving my days for Greece in September. Today is August 31st, so Things are going according to plan. In the past couple of days, I've done research about uh, places that I wanted to see nearby. Nearby to uh, like Bojada Island and on the way coming down here. And so one place that I really wanted to see is Assos. Greek ruins on the sea that we went past, kind of, on the bus. So I had been researching all of these different uh, possibilities 
and looking at also hotel rooms and was coming to discover that uh, I guess because of the Victory Day weekend then hotels were all just insanely high you know $150 and up and so I was kind of realizing that uh, the uh, plan to stop at Assos just wasn't gonna work at least in terms of any sort of practical smooth way to do it I was considering like going there today to Assos and then uh, visit it and then keep on going by bus and get here but uh, that was just going to be way more hassle than it was worth because I would have to get off the bus there in this random town on the way and then take a taxi or whatever 15 or 20 minutes further to Assos and then come back and then wait for the next bus whenever it might be going. As it turned out, that bus took a while because it made these stops and it just hung there in these stations for a long time, like three or four pretty long waits. And so, uh, you know, I got here at 4.30 as it was. If I tried to do that ASOS thing, then uh, that would have really, um, you know, delayed the day and I certainly would have missed uh, this ferry here. Besides, I'm going to Greece, so I'm going to be seeing lots of uh, Greek ruins. And so, uh, basically the convenience factor and just the smoothness of doing it this way all around just made more sense rather than going through a lot of time and energy and unknown transportation stuff trying to see something along the way. So anyway, let's uh, take a break for a couple minutes and then I have to check in a little early to go through customs. So that'll be in just like 20 minutes or something probably. Going to find some shade and uh, take a seat. Here we go, it's happening. This is the boat. So when I uh, went through customs exiting Turkey, he asked to see another ID, other than just my passport. I think because of the haircut, he probably saw like my entry photo when I arrived in Ankara, Turkey, when I had the long hair, and then I uh, had to confirm who I was. All right, I think this is it. So, over there is the island of Kunda, which is barely an island. You can see, probably can't see too well in the video, but I can see cars crossing it. A bridge, a pretty short little bridge right there connecting, uh... oh, there's another bridge there. Okay, that one is longer, so mainland of Turkey here, and then bridge there, and then another bridge there. So you have this little archipelago of islands right off the coast that are Turkish islands, which I was looking at on the map and was seriously considering uh, maybe staying a night there, but I just couldn't be bothered the hassle of getting there and then getting back tomorrow. I decided I just wanted to get it done. and. Uh, get to uh, Lesbos, so I'm not quite sure how long of a uh, ferry ride this is going to be, but uh, not too far. I think we must be seeing Lesbos probably out there. Maybe it'll be 30-45 minutes boat ride, something like that. So I hadn't booked accommodation yet for tonight because I wasn't sure where I was going to end up, and so I uh, looked on booking.com while I was drinking that beer there and there was almost nothing in Mytilene, the biggest town on the island of Lesbos. I think because of the last weekend in August, now the Victory Day celebration holiday will not be a factor of course in Greece because the Victory Day holiday here in Turkey 
is about a battle that they fought with the Greeks back in 1922 in which I guess the Turks won that one. So the Greeks are definitely not uh, celebrating the Turkish Victory Day. But still, it is the last uh, weekend of August, kind of the end of summer here, basically. And so I think because of that, basically tonight, maybe also tomorrow, being uh, very uh, busy. And then I'm hoping that uh, going into next week, I mean, that was the whole point of this, you know, waiting until uh, September to go to Greece, then there will be uh, more options on Lesbos. I'm sure that there will be. But for now, I ended up booking a hostel for two nights in Mytilene. It actually looks really nice, the uh, hostel, but it's been a while since I've stayed in a hostel dorm bed. Other than that, there were like two other options in the whole town, and I forget, but I think up there in the hundred something bucks a night range anyways. So uh, the uh, hostel is only 37, 38 dollars a night, something like that, which I had a private room in Turkey here in uh, Chanakale for 31 dollars, so that's still kind of expensive for a hostel, but uh, better than paying a whole, you know, bunch, 150 dollars or something again. I need to uh, bring the budget back down because the 157 dollar room in uh, Boj Jada there was uh, definitely over my budget. But anyway, so two nights booked into Maitalin there and then Lesvos is a, a very big island with a lot to see it sounds like. So I'd like to stay longer there. I have nothing else planned as far as where I will go next. But uh, I know that, uh, you know, I have several options as far as ferry connections to neighboring islands all of which look really nice and I haven't seen any of these uh, islands in the North Aegean. So uh, that is the plan for the next like couple weeks is be in the North Aegean Sea and then uh, we'll see after that. But I have 24 days left in the Schengen zone and I will very likely use that whole 24 days back here in Greece. So uh, boat leaving in 30 minutes or something. Goodbye Turkey, it was really good, it was too short, and I will very likely be back. In fact, I may go from Greece back to Turkey. That would be on September 23rd, so see you then.